Evening everyone. <clears throat> I had to replace this XY joiner because the old one that was printed out of ABS cracked and I wasn't going to planning on relying on it. I've been experimenting with a number of different materials and this one here is printed out of a, uh, PETG. Now one thing I've found seems to be that PETG prints a little more dimensionally accurate than uh, either PLA or ABS. There's a lot less shrinkage involved and the parts come out although they're a lot more stringy and they're a lot more difficult tougher getting the supports out of the part overall ends up dimensionally accurate to the way you design it now I've also at this point got my X and Y end stops installed the Y over here but I'm probably going to have to modify this bracket over here to allow it a little more room to the outside because right now my Y end stop is cocked at an angle in order for it to make contact, but it does make contact. So I'm almost to the point now where I'll be able to hook up the control board and see if it's going to work or not. I did manage to, after several failed attempts, under I run Linux on a normal basis, and under Linux, I could not get the uh, Skynet software to compile. So I booted up Windows and threw it on there. After a couple of failed attempts, having to do some upgrades to the software, the libraries and whatnot, it finally did upload to the ANET board. And I got the... Uh, Core XY settings in the configuration set. So I'm anxious to see whether or not it's actually going to take. As soon as I've got a Z end stop in position, then I'll be able to start hooking up electronics and give it its first test run. I'm starting work on the Z axis platform now. I cut a square roughly 12 inches by 12 inches might be a sixteenth or two shy of that then I cut out spacing for it to lighten it up that will become mounted to the uh, z-axis lead screw I haven't decided yet if I'm going to need both lead screws or not but now I've got to uh, design the parts to fit the uh, platform to the lead screw and the guide rods. Now we have the lead screw and guide rail mounts for the build platform support. Installed. I have to put the screws in the corners on the guide rail supports and lacking a reliable 5 16 bearing I again tried printing the uh, bushing out of the plastic one thing I have discovered on the ANET A8 as I've been using it printing round objects doesn't quite work they end up depending on where the print head is on the bed itself being varying amounts of oval shaped it tends to print more off in the y direction depending on where the print head is over the print bed it's not uniform over the whole thing so i can't just adjust the number of steps so what I've ended up doing is finding the point on the print bed 
where I can get the closest to round for printing anything round. As far as square corners go, it's less critical. I can make accommodations for that. Once this printer is complete, I'll use it to print its updates for the more permanent version. Meanwhile, I've got the wires installed now for the X and Y motors. Got the X and Y end stops mounted. Y over here and X over here. At the moment, I've got the print head off of it for ease of uh, working with the print frame and structure itself. Next thing I've got to do is print the mounts and supports for the Z guide rails that will hold them in place.